Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from executeautomation.com and welcome to part 14 of our Selenium with C# -sharp video series. And in this video we will be talking about parallel testing with Selenium C# -sharp using Engineer 3.0. So before watching this part, I would request you to watch part 13 since this part is going to be a complete continuation of that part. Let's quickly see what we were doing in our previous video. For that, I'm going to flip to Visual Studio. So in our last video, we wrote these three classes like base, hooks and unit test 1.cs and also we written two different classes within this unit test 1.cs with two different search operations to be performed for one same browser. As of now we have just used only one same browser like Firefox driver and then we were executing this test and we saw that in our previous test we were able to execute the test with one single browser at a time but that was not running any parallel test execution, right? So in order for executing the parallel test we are going to ensure that we add a attribute called as parallelizable. Remember in our previous video we were discussing about something called as parallelizable attribute. We need to decorate the test classes. That's what we're going to do. So I'm going to decorate this test fixture, this test class with parallelizable attribute. And now if I just save this and if I just execute this test. So in our last video while we executed this test, these two tests were executing sequentially. But now as you can see they are actually executing parallelly. So these two tests are actually executing parallelly. But if it doesn't really make any sense what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a thread.sleep here. So system.threading.thread.sleep and I'm going to make this test to sleep for like 10 seconds. And this test I'm just going to leave it as it is. And now if I try to run this test you can see that the Firefox test will keep on running whereas the Google test will be completed by the time. There we go. Oops, it seems like it's again fast enough to perform the operation. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make it even more time delay here. 20, I'm just going to save it and I'm just going to execute this. So it will type the selenium but it will not click the search button. There we go. So as you can see it has not clicked the search button yet in the selenium. But for exit automation it has already clicked the search button. So it's waiting for 20 seconds in the selenium browser. There we go. So now it clicked the selenium as well for the search button. So you can see that we are executing two tests parallelly right now. But the problem here is we are executing these two tests in parallel with just single browser. But our quest is to run the same test in a multiple browsers same time. So how to achieve this? It's very very simple. All I'm going to do is I'm just going to introduce a enum or otherwise called as enumerator for what is called as browser type and then I'm going to introduce a Chrome browser and a Firefox browser or an IE browser as well. So whatever you want you can just introduce this here and within this particular hooks constructor I'm just going to call pass the parameter as browser type and browser and here for this particular class I'm just going to decorate a private browser type as browser type. So I'm just going to create a local variable here and within this local variable I'm just going to set the value. So browser type is equal to the browser right and it's saying that it is not accessible because the enum should be public as well. So I'm just going to set it public. There we go. And I'm going to write a very very simple method here. Let's say I'm going to write a method something like public void choose browser or choose driver instance something like that. And within this choose driver instance pass the variable right here. So it's again going to be the browser type. So browser type. There we go. If 
the browser type is equal to browser type dot Chrome then you should open the Chrome browser or you should set the driver instance as Chrome browser right so it's equal to new Chrome driver there we go and else if the browser type is equal to browser type dot Firefox then you set the driver is equal to new Firefox driver and you can set the IE as well or or Safari you want but I'm just gonna leave it as it is for now and now I'm just going to create one more hook here let's call this as setup so public void initialize test something like that and here I'm just going to call this guy let's choose driver instance and within this I'm just going to pass the browser type right so what will happen here is once you call this particular hooks class once the host class is initialized this guy is going to call this constructor and here you are going to pass the browser type from the class that you're going to call and within this particular object you will have the browser type which you're going to be looking for and this initialize test method will be called every time once the test is actually being initialized for that particular class so here we are going to choose the driver which is going to in turn call which browser you're actually going to set up the driver right so you can also write this particular piece of code in this particular initialize test itself but for little code readability and maintainability I'm writing this as a method so you can also make this as private if you want because you're not going to make or call this guy anywhere outside of this particular class so you can make this as private so only thing is this setup method which is going to be called while the test method is being started right so I'm just gonna save it right now and what I'm going to do is we have to make some more modification in our Firefox test classes all we have to do is we have to create a constructor and within this constructor we actually have to pass something like base and within this base we have to pass the browser type so the browser type is going to be Firefox for this particular class similarly if you just hit control dot you can see that generate constructor in chrome, chrome testing will appear so if you hit enter you can see that it will automatically generate for you so you don't really have to worry about it so you can do either this way or this way so anything is still fine so I would say that instead of doing this way just pass the browser type directly so browser type dot maybe chrome I'm just gonna save it and now if I try to execute just one test maybe the chrome test and see if it's really working alright so it seems like it's opening the Chrome browser and it's also searching for execute automation which is good so now let's select both these tests and run them you can see that the Chrome browser is opened at the same time the Firefox browser is also opened so we are executing two tests parallelly with two different browsers right now right so this is how you can achieve the parallel test execution using the one attribute parallelizable of NUnit 3.0 and this is very very easy to achieve the parallel execution using Selenium C Sharp using NUnit 3.0 and you can see that both the test got passed so the next question from many of the people is how do I achieve multiple tests to be executed in multiple browsers same time in multiple environment and that answer is going to be Selenium Grid so you can achieve this using Selenium Grid in C Sharp as well so we have already discussed about achieving that using Selenium with Java using TestNG but in our next upcoming videos using Dockers we can achieve the Selenium grid execution with multiple containers in multiple browsers and multiple machines at the same time to perform the same kind of operation. So stay tuned guys we will be discussing about them as well in future videos. So that's it guys thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.